Check it out, turn the light on. It's my, my brand new office. Oh, <laughs> it's beautiful. You like that light? Boob light fixture. <laughs> Don't think about it like that. Inappropriate. I'm gonna paint it for David because it's an ugly yellow color. Yeah, it's like this must be the cheapest color because they paint in the bathroom. You can't really tell on camera. Oh, you can tell right there. You know, it has to match the fox body. Yeah, black and white and black. black. Black and white. Are you gonna do black with white trim or white with black trim or? No, it's gonna be like a charcoal gray, close to black with white trim. All right, good, good to see that. It's gonna be great. Check out this car. This dude came all the way from Arkansas. Where's the light switch? There it is. It's all the way over here. Arkansas. Or no, sorry, not Arkansas, Louisiana. And uh, check this out. His crank snapped off. Look at this. Where is it? Ah! Oh, there it is. Oh my god! I don't see it. Oh, I see it yeah. now. This is what happens when you don't get the crank sprocket to seat properly or the balancer. Tisk tisk. So, we got a brand new. We're gonna fix all these fuel lines. These are driving me crazy. But. Do you believe people charge for that? That's crazy. Insane. But anyways, uh, yeah, we got a brand new motor coming for that. This thing will be here for a little bit. We'll do some other upgrades, but today! Oh, oh, show them my hoodie, show them my hoodie. These are available on the site now, Cardi Direct. Show them the back. Fook around and find out. <laughs> no, 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 how do, you have to say, fook around and find out. Fook around and find out. So, uh, on today's video, Joe is actually releasing his car, so you'll see it already released in his video. He's gonna drop his first, but uh, super sick when actually I bought the Fox body. Joe took my money and bought a brand new carbon drag pack GT500. Track pack, sorry. Oh, go through the invisible. Oh, just kidding, not yet. Uh, so you got a carbon track pack GT500. This thing is so sick, and uh, we have our own packages coming out with CDX800. 900 and a 1000. Joe's getting the CDX 2000, meaning it's getting a MoTeC and twin turbo system. Okay, probably not, but. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, we've already done a GT500. We kind of tested some of the stuff on that that we are gonna do. And uh, Joe's is actually like the actual serialized CDX package series. So pretty cool. Pretty excited to show you guys that. Have you even seen it? Not in person. Oh, she pretty. Yeah, it does look red in this. Hold on, let me change. there. Once it uh, optimizes. Golly. Can't I can't believe you paid 180 for this. That's I crazy. Mean, <laughs> now you paid MSRP, right? Or pretty close? Uh, it was close. I did not. So I bought this you know, four months ago. It was still in the mix of crazy pandemic. Which now you can get base models for MSRP. I still don't think you can get carbon track. I don't know. Yeah, it'll be a while to get a carbon track pack for that. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Okay. Um, but no, so I paid, I got it in, uh, in the middle of the pandemic and I paid a couple grand over. It was still okay. a great deal. For a carbon fiber track pack, 2022, because a lot, like they're selling like one or two year old ones. Oh, for, for like 15, 20 yeah. ADM. Like it's stupid. Actually, they like ordered it randomly or something? And get there? this, so yeah, this was in Pampa, Texas. So if anyone knows or is from the Amarillo area, like Amarillo is a decent sized town, like 200,000 people. Pampa is like 10,000 Little dot max. on the force. Yeah. Like, it's just this random farming town. Oh, dude, you didn't adjust the, the wing. I'm to make it more aggressive. <laughs> yeah. You can adjust No, just that. for daily driving. You got no, you need that downforce. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. God, like... No, I can't. I can't wait. I'm glad it's like... Yeah. If I do 37 more oil pump gear jobs, I could pay for a dollar or a wheel on this, probably. Yeah, I mean, I think the MSRP on a wheel is like 80 grand, so... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Mm, got a few cars in here. So Kennedy decided to paint the uh, bathroom. That one needs a few more coats. And the office. And uh, we've been trying to get all of our stuff in from the other shop, so it looks kind of bare right now, but we're just trying to get everything in and organized. But started bringing some of the toolboxes over, started bringing a bunch of the shelves over, um, started to bring some cars over, obviously. And then uh, we've been outfitting the office, got some floors in, and uh, just some of the parts that we use on like an everyday basis. Tons of oil pump gears, lockouts, head studs, catch cans, watt boxes. They're just We got a bunch of these two in the back, but that's just some we got right there. And then over here, starting to store a bunch of stuff. So these are actually Joe's shelves, so I had to clear all my stuff off. You know how Joe is. And uh, started making some headway of some organization of just spare parts and fluids and stuff like that over here. We got some... <laughs> Meats! These are 315 60 15. These are huge. Um, and then a couple sets of 275s for myself. Well, for the fox body. But so yeah, we're we're making pretty good progress here. We still got a bunch more to go, but we've made some huge strides today. Alright guys, so I was gonna make this into a few videos, but man, we got so freaking busy this week trying to finish moving into the shop that just didn't get around to making multiple videos. So we're just gonna make this one super, super long video. Um, but anyways, we're completely moved into the shop minus my lift that's over at the old shop. Hopefully we're gonna go grab that today actually. And then uh, hopefully in the next like month or so, we'll probably get two or three more lifts. Um, it's just, you know, we've spent a lot of money getting into this new place. Um, so, you guys have probably seen on Joe's video, they were uh, bringing in all their fabrication equipment. Uh, some of it they already had, some of the stuff they got new. And uh, so they're just trying to work on like placing everything, but they got their bender, the belt sander, uh, bandsaw, drill press. Uh, Joe got a super nice, badass welder, which I'm going to show you what we used on for the first time last night, here in a second. Um, but Nick's car is here, so Nick's car, um, we had to add some turbo oil regulators to it because, you know, his built RPG engine makes so much oil pressure that the journal bearing turbos, typically they take as much oil as they, you know, can have, but with the Coyotes, they make so much oil pressure on the built engines that we had to add some oil regulators, and now it's back because um, we're trying to make streetcar takeover, we ran out of time, essentially and we couldn't run the uh, drains properly for the regulator. So now the car is in here, got the pan down, uh, got the fittings coming in tomorrow, and so we're gonna add some return lines to the fittings, and then his car can go back together, um, and we just gotta play with the AMS and go make some hits. So his car, it's, you know, those big builds, man, like, it's just part of it. They take time to get figured out. They take time to get running. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll be testing his in like maybe a couple weeks. Um, it's just, it's getting cold where we're at in Amarillo, but most of the tracks in Dallas are still open depending on the weekend. So we're hopefully going to make a, a testing session here soon. So uh, we did pretty much, like I said, get almost everything moved in. We're just trying to organize and figure out like where we're going to put everything. So uh, Joe made these super cool racks last night. And so the whole front end of the car actually hangs up there, as you'll see in his video. But like they have one of their cars up there. Um, we got Tashawn's car over here waiting on some parts. We just uh, changed out the rear gear on it, add some axles because he's going to start doing more track stuff. And then we're waiting on um, some clutches and his ice tank and a few other things to get his going. And then, like I said, we're working on Nick's. Unfortunately, we don't have the lift, so got to make do with what we what we got. Um, this truck, I don't want to show too much of the F-150 because I want to do like a whole video on it, but essentially it's getting the works. So um, then we got this Hellcat Red Eye wide body Challenger came in uh, just for some few, a few simple mods, nothing too crazy. Um, so that came in yesterday, so we're going to get working on that probably Monday or Tuesday. And then obviously got Barry's car, and Barry's we actually need the lift for to get the rear end out of it and support it how we want it, so we're really waiting on the lift. And then we got a new car in here, 
uh, Kincaid's car. If you guys remember, Kincaid actually had a twin turbo F-150 just like this that was brought from Montana. And we got that fixed up, did a bunch of mods to it, and uh, now this is going to be his new street car. And so this is going to be ideally, you know, like a mid seven second street car. Um, so this one's getting the works though, I mean it's, it's getting everything. I don't want to go into too much detail because we want to make a bunch of videos on it, but it's getting, there's a cage in it, that's getting ripped out because it's junk. Um, so it's going to get a full cage. Pretty much our in-house custom twin turbo kit, streetcar Joe wiring front to back, um, my turbo 400 kit, uh, yeah, pretty much everything you could think of. So this one's gonna be a pretty long project, but it's gonna be super badass when it's done. And then uh, Joe's got one of his cars um, out in there being welded or uh, wired. Sorry. So we did actually. Work on the Fox last night after spending all weekend moving. I freaking pried and pried at Joe. I'm like, dude, come on, let me just mount the turbo. <laughs> so last night we actually mounted the turbo. Uh, we, we mocked it up, liked it where it was, and pretty much welded it up. So it's a good start. <laughs> it's only like 93 days until TX2K and we just got turbo mounted. So we're right on track, like every year. So. Uh, we got the new Jose turbo in there, the Gen 3. So it's pretty much going to sit right there. And uh, just a little short cold side pipe right there. And then obviously this car is going to get custom headers just because, you know, the Coyote is not meant for this, for this stock frame rails right here. So Joe's got to build some custom headers, pretty much going to swing out, bring it to a merge. That one's going to swing out, come across, bring it to the merge over there. And then you know how we do, baby. You know, hopefully hood exit. <laughs> so um, it's a good start, though. Honestly, like we we are already cutting it close. You know, we don't have a motor. This is just a mock-up motor, um, but we do have almost all the parts for it. Like I've got two shelves full. I got a bunch of parts out there. I mean, literally, we have everything to build the car. Um, essentially, you know, order of operations is completely build out the turbo kit. The custom headers, the hot side, the cold side. Um, it's going to run no intercooler, so don't have to do anything with that, which is nice. But completely build out the hot side and cold side. Um, fuel cell is going to be most likely over here, so Joe's got to build a cage for it. So we need to order a fuel cell, make the cage for it, and then anything we else, anything else we think we're going to weld to the front, we need to get welded so that we can literally pull it all out, and then. We can paint the engine bay because, you know, Joe had to grind and take off everything that they had before, and then we got to fill in the holes that we're not going to use anymore. And then this car is going to get bulkheads. So we need to drill for the bulkheads. Um, but anything we think, you know, that's going to be welded or done to the front, we got to do it now so we can pull it off, get it painted, and then reassemble the turbo kit um, and wire the car. So essentially, my plan is to build the turbo kit. Uh, pull everything out, paint it all, put everything back together, let Joe wire the car front to back, and then essentially we'll just be waiting on an engine at that point. Um, obviously there's going to be like little things here and there that we still got to do, um, but that's kind of the main priorities is turbo kit, wire the car, and then uh, plumb it. And the cool thing is, like I said, we have a mock-up motor, so we can plumb everything and everything will plug right back in. So I'm not too concerned about it. It's just, you know, making time for this car while making time for everybody else's car. Um, so we're definitely on a time crunch with this thing, but would you just look how sick that looks. So sick. You should have seen me, Joan Brady, trying to hold this thing last night. It was ridiculous. My back still hurts. But there she is. Big old boy right there. Gonna feed the little 302 Coyote. So. Uh, like I said, a little bit longer video, but um, pretty excited where everything is at right now. We are pretty much, the lift has got to come in, and then it's full steam ahead on everybody's projects. Uh, Joe and Brady, super busy over there. Me and Marv are super busy over here. Um, so we're just full steam ahead on the projects. The thing was that we had to get everything over here because uh, I told Joe, I'm like, dude, just start moving stuff over because you're only going to get busier with cars 
and there's gonna be no, there's never gonna be a good time to move. So it's like, might as well pause during the week, take three or four days and just start moving everything, get it all organized. And uh, that way we can, you know, next week just start fully going on everybody's cars. So there's lots of projects in here, lots of work to be done. And uh, somehow we still gotta get this guy done. But at least we got the turbo mounted, which I'm super excited about. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you enjoyed the updates. And hopefully, pretty much after this, there'll be a full build series on the Coyote Fox. I'm gonna do a bunch of videos on Joe's GT500, um, cause we got some cool plans for that, but I wanna make some other videos on it and uh, make some videos on all the, pretty much on all the projects we have in house right now going on. So, um, don't forget, you guys can buy a hat, hoodie, uh, t-shirt or you can buy just normal car parts fuel systems headers exhaust intakes whatever you want on the website and you can get entered to win a custom streetcar joe turbo kit for your vehicle so hope you guys enjoyed that video we'll see you guys on the next one